everyone so today um i did this makeup look i didn't really know what i was gonna do when i sat down at my makeup counter and um this is kind of just what i did um i guess you could say it's like a i don't really know what it is maybe like a peacock butterfly um i did use these false lashes if you can see these um and i got these at five below about like two years ago or something and I knew I was going to use them for something and they finally came in handy today. Um, they are like leaf shaped around my eyes and then I added a bunch of glitter um, just to make it really cool and then I added a little bit of purple on my cheeks and then I did um, some glitter on my lips as well. So um, I don't know I never do anything like this so this was really different for me and it was a lot of fun. I know it's not like great or perfect or anything but I had a lot of fun doing it and definitely get, let your creativity flow sometimes you know we all get stuck in our makeup ruts and everything but I just thought it was really cool to be able to do something else and I hope you guys like um what I came up with stay tuned if you guys want to see how I achieved this look um <laughs> So what I'm doing first is I'm applying the NYX or NYX Jumbo um, Eye Pencil in the color Milk. And it's a white base, nice and sticky. And then I'm going to be blending it out with my ring finger. And that is just going to help for the colorful shadows that I'm going to be using later on to really adhere to something. And it's also going to help the shadows to appear more brighter. So this is a must in everyone's makeup collection. And next I'm going into that yellow color right there in a palette that I got a beauty, at a beauty show um, a couple months back. And I'm using a flat shadow brush. And I'm going to be patting this all over my lid area. Um, just patting it so I get a little bit more um, intensity of the eyeshadow instead of, um, shed, or instead of blending it back and forth which will give me a lot of fallout. Next what I'm doing is I'm just taking a skin tone color and I'm using this as my base color because if I were to put like a blue or a purple right on top of that white base it's going to be a little harder to blend out. Right now I am just thinking about what I'm going to do because like I said in my intro I had no idea. So here I am taking the blue color from the electric palette from Urban Decay and I, I'm just really freehanding it, just putting in that blue right in my crease and I'm kind of, uh, I brought it out towards the corner of my eyes, towards the edge of my eyebrow and I'm just really um, pecking on that color and then I'll go back in to intensify it a little bit more. Throughout this whole video I'll be using my Urban Decay Electric Palette which just has a bunch, a bunch of intense shadows in it. And I'm also going to be dragging this blue color a little bit down the sides of my nose, but not much at all. And then I'm going to be covering my eyebrows also with that NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. Um, because my eyebrows are naturally really dark, I want to put an eyeshadow on top of them. And that will help to kind of make them a little bit um, less dark. And here I am taking the yellow color. Uh, from the electric palette again, and I'm putting that right on top of the yellow the first yellow color that I applied And I'm sharpening the edges of the blue because some of the blue shadow did fall on to the yellow Right now I'm just taking a really light blue eyeliner pencil, and I'm kind of freehanding like a feather um, And I'm just kind of making little points so into like little upside down V's was how I did that I have to say that this was probably one of the hardest parts of this makeup look that I did was making those feathers on my face or and trying to draw it out. Um, that was probably one of the most difficult parts so definitely take your time with it. Um, they probably could have been better but I was happy with it. So now I'm just doing the same thing on the other side and then you'll see me kind of pull it um, out around my eye. and. Um, then I make sure, it's also important to make sure that you step back from the mirror a little bit to make sure that it's even on both sides. Just take a look at both both sides to make sure that they are even or if you need to fix something. So as you can see here I am drawing those little V's and I'm lightly shadowing it down and then we'll be filling in the leaves later. So now that I have that done I was going to apply a purple shadow and you can see me like pausing for a second like 
should I, shouldn't I, what am I going to do now? So what I decided to do was take my black um, Stila eyeliner, and it's a waterproof black liquid liner. You can really use anything for this as long as it has a nice um, sharp point to it. And what I'm doing is I'm um, outlining the green liner that I used for the feathering of it. And I'm outlining it so that when I put the other colors on top, it really stands out and it just doesn't fade all into one. Definitely take your time on this. This was probably, again, a really hard, time-consuming part. But I thought it came out pretty good. Um, so yeah, just keep doing those upside-down Vs and lightly drag it down. This eyeliner was kind of drying out a little bit, so that's why I decided to use that. Because then it wouldn't be super, super intense black, but just that right amount of black. And I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye now. deciding to take that purple shadow also from the Urban Decay Electric palette and I am patting that right on top of my eyebrows and so that's why that white base is super important to use because that purple shadow just automatically clings to it and just makes it a lot more um, intense and nicely pigmented so I'm doing that on both of my eyebrows and then I'm going to be moving on to the next step. So what I'm doing here is I'm going back to the electric palette and taking a really light blue indigo color and I'm putting that right um, on top of that darker blue color and right below my purple, so right underneath my brows. And I'm using that kind of as a transition shade so that everything just blends together a little better. And I'm using that and I'm going to be taking also a mix of an orange and a pink color. And then I am just kind of putting right on the outer edges of the purple, not going so high because I don't want to completely cover the outlining that I just did. So I'm blending that over um, right on top of the purple and then I'm bringing it alongside the bridge of my nose. And then I'll slowly be going up, working my way up towards the feathers to kind of fill in that whole line. And then I'll bring it again on the bridge of my nose as well on both sides. sample from work from the Makeup Forever flash palette and it's basically just a really bright teal blue um, face paint. It's a flash palette that you can just use on your face. You can mix it with a, you can make your own foundation out of it. It's really cool. But I'm using my beauty blender um, filling my whole forehead area in and then again I'm going into my Urban Decay electric palette and taking kind of like a lime green and I'm patting that right on top of that blue color all the way up into my forehead and then we will be just blending that out so it blends really well so there is no other blue showing and having that blue underneath just gives it something to stick to. Now I'm just taking a big fluffy brush, no product on it whatsoever and I'm blending those two blues together on my eyes and then bringing them down a little bit so that there is no harsh lines whatsoever. I'm doing the same thing on my under eye area. I'm taking a little bit of that blue. Um, you can also use a face paint for this, whatever color you'd like. And I'm basically blending that in as I would with some concealer. And then I'm going to be taking that light green lime um, eyeshadow and painting that right on top so that we have a nice sticky base for that as well. So 
this step is definitely optional, but what I decided to do now was I am taking some red glitter and I'm using my e.l.f. glitter glue, just making a, a little paste out of it. And I'm taking a flat shadow brush and taking the red glitter and patting it onto those red areas. And then I'm going to be doing that same thing with some green glitter and then the same thing with some blue glitter. And I'm doing that basically in all the color coded areas. Is applying some mascara getting my lashes ready for some falsies and I am applying I am applying these big eyelashes that I got from Five Below um, a couple years ago and they're really pretty they have that bright blue feathering on the edge of them so I'm just applying those and then I am taking my Kryloin um, foundation stick and applying that all over and then applying it again with my beauty blender just to give me more of a full coverage finish and I'm only applying that on the bottom half of my face and then now I am going in with the NYX concealer just down the bridge of my nose because then I am going to be applying um, a lime green, somewhat yellow color down the bridge of my nose as well. And I'm going to be blending that down and then putting a little bit of purple right on the sides of it. It kind of reminded me of Barney. So that's like the only part I was kind of iffy about. But anyways, it blended all well together. So I'm just going to be doing that. And I'm really sorry, but at this point, my camera did die out on me and I didn't even know it. So here are some pictures of what the finished product looks like. All I did left was I put some purple blush on. Actually, it was just a purple eyeshadow, as you can see in this clip. And I put a um, pink lipstick on with some um, silver and white glitter on the middle of my lips. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you did like this video and so that you don't miss out on future videos. So I appreciate all of you guys' support and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!